I like trains. Like that? Yep. We've got our last train. Yeah. Here, do you, wait, open, the, wait, Stryker, get out. Or is it gonna? Uh, um, yeah, just, just keep it like that. Our last train of the night. Oh, right, right there. Hey, when I to Here it comes. I have no idea what it is, but it's a westbound. I had to get my water bottle because I lost it, and now I got it back. Jeevo. It's moving really slow. No, it's not. It's not. It's just massive. Tier 4 Jeevo. Oh. 3299. Oh my god, it's so freaking bright. Intermodal! It's an intermodal. Q137. Q137. <laughs> like yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna keep it here. Okay. Q137. That was perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why I came back is because my water bottle, I accidentally left it at Point of Rocks. And guess what? We get it back and I see a green signal westbound. I didn't know how close anything was. And well, here it is. This is CSX Q137 westbound intermodal, and there should be auto racks on the back, but I'm not sure. Single stack intermodal. This is the first time I've caught Q137 in literally four months. I know. It's because Q137 used to come during the day, and it doesn't anymore. So I'm like, heck, if I go nighttime rail fanning, maybe I'll see it. Well. There's your answer. This is also the latest train I've ever caught. It's like almost midnight. But I'll stop talking. Okay, literally almost all the intermodals um, come at night now. So it's nice to see them now. We might have a mid DPU coming. Right sure. Yeah. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, yeah. So they can just tell you were shooting right at the pillar of the truck. Yeah. It's okay. Pretty sure like my face is in it. Is that a mid DPU? <laughs> my face is just like and, walking. Yeah, I know. I'm time. sorry. <laughs> that would be so shout funny. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Old Main Productions who, is, who drove me tonight. Um, and me. And you. You don't have a YouTube channel, but you are my last subscriber. Thank you. Uh, subscriber number 63. Help us get I, to 69 we need, subscribers. We need 69. six more subscribers to 69. And we are at milepost 69. Come uh -huh. on. It needs to be nice. This is a pretty long intermodal train. Obviously, intermodal is easy. <coughs> COVID. <laughs> I'm kind of in a funny mood tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I know I've been, like, goofy in all my videos, but come on. You gotta like the humor. Um, yeah, a lot of orange intermodals here, Schneider, yeah, a lot of Schneider. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a mid-DPU on this train, and actually, I think I see one right now. Oh, look, it's like Yep, it's a mid-DPU, and then there are auto racks. Let's see what this locomotive is. It is a GE. 3311, ET44 AH, right there. 3311, you couldn't get, see the number, but I, I said it. This is 100% Q137. Are these marked cars? These are auto racks. So that's, I, I thought that the Q216 was Q138, because Q138 is the same way, except it has the auto racks in the front and the intermodals in the back. This is the opposite, the intermodals are in the front, the auto racks in the back. And they pick up the auto racks from Jessup, which is on the capital sub. So, for all you guys watching, that's a little bit of a lesson there. Oh, that was a Burlington Northern Santa Fe car. You guys can't really tell. That's why I'm talking. I know some of you might not like me talking, but hey. That's just my style, okay? Yeah, we've seen a lot of auto racks tonight. How fast do you think it's moving? 30, it... 35 miles an hour, I'd say. Okay. The speed limit is, like... the speed limit for freight is 40 here, and the passenger is 55. 
Now some put down like Gaithersburg, I think passengers like 75 or something crazy like that. Wow. Did you see that one going like 80 though? Yeah. I feel like it's slowing down. No, it's not. It's just because it's auto racks, it looks like it's going slower. Doesn't think I see anything too special on this. But it's the first Q137 I've caught in literally four months. I think the last time I caught Q137 was June 29th. And today is October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. And for those of you real thing on Halloween, make sure to have fun. I guess dress up and something. Oh, there, there is a Halloween party going on in Brunswick tomorrow. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that, but I don't give a crap. It, it was actually going to be a Point of Rocks, but now it's in Brunswick. It's like this one, this one rail, this one like rail thing um, group that I'm not a part of and I don't even know about. And I see the end of the train. Uh, and yeah, if you're a rail fan tomorrow, make sure to dress uh, in your Halloween costume and all. And yep. Hold on. There, goes. there goes the train. CSX Q137 at Point of Rocks. We're going to wait for the signals to go off. There they go. Because I think we have to cross to leave. Oh, no, we don't. And we just have to turn around. Anyway, so that's the last train that I guaranteed. The only one I, di um, I didn't post was Q or um, N751. Or N750. No, N751. I'm sounding like a dummy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. This um, nighttime rail fanning, these nighttime rail fanning videos. Make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for whatever's coming next. For now, this is the old main guy. Out.